Hey guys, sorry I didn't post yesterday. I actually, so yesterday I was very, very, like, no energy. Like, I don't know why I said very, very, but like, I literally, yesterday, I just had no energy. I wasn't really tired. I just had no energy. And I just felt like being lazy. Like, I need to just be lazy. And so I actually filmed. But the thing was, I filmed twice. And the first time, the video, very boring. Like, like, so boring. And then the second time, I was freezing. So I had my heater on. And then the, like, sound was really, like, weird. So, like, I didn't post. I went, like, I'm just going to take the time, be lazy, spend the day just being lazy. Be not completely lazy because I still had to do my two stage four, which is to clean my parents' bedroom. And by that, it's just, like, dust it. Like, I vacuum dust it because... Um, something that my mom had the idea for. Or so, like, as part of, like, oh, like, chores to, like, get my lamp slash also, like, to teach me, like, how to do certain things, like, vacuuming, dusting, and cooking. Like, things like that, because one day I'm going to live on my own, and then, like, I'm going to need to know how to do these things. <laughs> So, like, every single day, hey, except for Saturday and Sunday. And Friday is, like, back and forth. Or, like, we usually don't do Friday. But, like, I have, like, a set chore. So, like, Monday, I clean my room. Um, Tuesdays, I, like, vacuum and dust my parents' bedroom. Today is Wednesday. So I get to clean the bathrooms because the bathrooms don't take long. So I get both on one day. So anyway, today I wanted to film and just kind of give me, I want to like chat with you, but like generally be real and update you on like music and all sorts of fun things. First up, I don't know when. I'm going to be working on music. I have two ideas for songs, but it's going to be a while before I, like, do them because, um, like, I feel like at-home videos, like, they, they're really cool sometimes. Like, I feel like with at-home, it's, like, like, more simple, but it, like, you have to, like, go bigger on, like, like, the dancing or the singing, like, with that, like, for me anyways, like, I'm, like, when, it, like, all of my music videos are at home, so, like, I, I try to, like, go bigger on, like, my talent and, like, really show you in my talent so much that you, like, have to like it, and, like, the situation where you want to like it, and, and, like, you kind of, like, I'm, like, just, like, I, you don't even think twice about liking it. You just do it, like, the first time. Because you just enjoy it that much. Like, that's what I try to go for. Okay, I had to adjust you for a second. And so, yeah. But the thing is right now, oh, I'm just waiting a little bit. I'm literally just waiting a little bit and... One thing that I am really happy about is that today I printed out another one of that picture up there. Or, let me show you. Right there. And because I've been planning to print one out, but the thing was that, like, my dad had ordered, like, more printer ink, so, like... We had to get that before I could, let me, yeah. so like, we had to get that at like, 
before I can print it out because I want to print out another one so when I go to Dream Tour I can leave it in the audience and stuff. So I'm really excited about that, got that done. I'm set for Dream Tour. I'm very excited about that. But, like, right now I'm trying to, like, take a breather and, like, not force myself to do, like, music and stuff. Because I love songwriting. I love doing, like, music. And my crush gets literally, like, pretty much, I will say, he gets, like, 99% of credit of why I even do music and, like, songwriting. Well, actually, I would say a somewhere like 96% is what I would say. Like, 96% and then, like, I... Actually, no. I would... Okay, what I mean is he gets 98% of credit and then, like, I, I get 1% of credit because, like, it's my life and, like, I... I feel like I just enjoy it, so that plays into it. And then, like, the other 1% goes to, like, all the people that I watch on social media, like, XOD Pop, and, like, I Squad, and, like, I Shoujo, like, all of that. They get, like, 1%, because that, like, keeps me inspired and, like, stuff like that. But the reason that he gets so much of the credit is I always... I'm going to be honest here. I used to be really not loving my voice. What I mean is, like, I used to not, I used to get so freaked out over singing. And it wasn't even the fact of, like, singing in front of people. Like, I never really knew why. I just kind of knew that, like, singing was something that I was freaked out over. And we're even just singing in my bedroom when no one watching or hearing. Singing used to freak me out really bad. And my crush always pushed for me to do it. And that was something that I feel like if he never pushed me to do it, I feel like it's not even like I feel like it's that I know like I wouldn't be doing music videos and songwriting. Like, he gets so much credit because every single time, like, at music class, like, I remember we did karaoke theme week because every single music class, there would be, like, a theme. There would be a theme every single week. And so, like... I, one week we did a St. Patrick's Day theme because it was the week of St. Patrick's Day. Like, it was like that week. And one week we did a princess week. I personally love that. I got to dress up as a princess. Like, I, I remember one week we did a talent show week. That week was a hard one for me, like, that one was actually easier and kind of more fun, but, like, still a little bit iffy and, like, harder in the sense that, like, I'll explain in a second. And then we did karaoke theme week. Well, I'm, I'm going to quickly explain the story of why, like, it was harder, like, to do, like, talent show week, and that was because of the fact, first up, um, um, Bella's sister had came with me that week, so that was some, but that was a harder week due to, first of all, um, we, me and her, like, tried to do, like, a duet, like, we tried to, like, plan out, like, a talent show performance, like, as a duet, like, us two together, we tried to, and then it just, like, we, like, started to, and we weren't sure what we wanted to do, and we wanted to do dancing, singing, like, whatever. Like, 
So, like, we literally went in completely unprepared. The only thing that we knew was that I had this, like, baton. It wasn't, it wasn't even, like, a real baton. It, well, I guess it kind of was. It's like, I, it's one of those, like, kid toy batons that has, like, water and, like, sequins in it. So, like, we had that. Uh, and then, with us, and we, like, were dressed, like, I, I think we were, like, wearing dresses or something. I have no memory of it. And I'll have to check if we still have that video. Because I feel like we might still have that video. And, and so we went in completely unprepared and put on the spot, kind of, but even though we had, like, a week to prepare. And then also it was harder because of the fact that uh, my sister didn't know I had a crush at the time. And she was basically meeting him for the first time. And I wanted things to go good. I didn't want to be embarrassed. I want things to just go good and go very smoothly. And then that was just something that, like, was, like, my main focus. And then on top of it, so there was just that. And then on top of it, like, I, I obviously wanted, like, our talent show performance to go good because my crush was watching. And, like, that just kind of, like, in a way, like, Actually, I'm going to say this, like, because it's true. It was that, like, I always done better and also not better performing or singing or whatever in front of my crush. And what I mean is it kind of both. It was that, yes, I feel like there was more of the, like, thought in my head of that, like, this has to go good because he's watching and I want to, like, do good in front of him. But it always was easier because it was like I didn't I had something to like guarantee stare at the whole time. Um to not even think about what I was doing. It was like a distraction so I could uh, think about something else and just like stare at him the whole time and just get through it. If it even if it was something like that I was excited about, like it was just it just worked out better in my end. Like, it's just something that I really enjoy. But, like, I remember that week just being, like... And it was mainly over the fact that, like, I wanted things to go good. And I wanted my sister to, like, approve of my crush. Even though she, like, didn't know that she, like, had to approve of someone. Like... And I... am I think that day, I'm trying to think about for a second, for like a minute here. I think that day, A, like me and my crush got partnered for something. I don't remember exactly. So, it was a thing. It was like... Oh, wait, was that the week? Okay, I think, I'm not sure if this was the week of this or not, but I feel like it was, there's this one random memory that I have of, like, at music class, of, like, this girl that, like, went to music class for a while. Um, don't know if she ever quit or what it was, like, I have no clue, because... But, like, she went to music class, and I remember, like, my crush shared, like, giving her a piece of candy or something. And, like, I think that was the day, but I'm not sure, like, but anyway, like, I just remember that week being old. But I remember karaoke week. Oh, that was a, that was a nightmare. That was, like, it was my work it, at the time I thought it was my worst nightmare and then realized it wasn't. It was set up kind of in my brain to be my worst nightmare and then afterwards it was going to be like I a good moment. So like 
because I just remember that week, like, I, our music class teacher, like, had, like, a karaoke, like, machine. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, for, sorry, like, like, it's hard for me to, like, keep stories, like, straight, because even though they happen, there's, like, a couple, like, stories that are, like, similar. Or so then, like, there's, like, little things about them that, like, separate them, kind of, because also other than the fact that they happen on different, like, dates and stuff, like, at different, like, times in life. But, like, sometimes it's hard for me to, like, remember exactly, like, I what went in what story. So, like, I sometimes have to think about for a second and be like, oh, yeah, like, this I'm pretty sure happened on this, like, day. But I think if I'm, I could be wrong on this because there were a couple moments, couple times that, like, things happened similar to this. But I'm pretty sure it was the week. Again, I could be wrong on this. That me and my crush, like, did a duet or something. I'm not exactly sure. I just remember her, like, karaoke week. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I think I'm correct on this. Because I real I thought back on it for a second and I realized I don't remember like looking at the audience and like staring at like my crush. I remember like staring at the floor which must have been the week that me and my crush did a duet. So basically what happened was we like went through like a couple music class activities and then and then what happened was that, um, uh, uh, like, our music class teacher, like, I went around, like, asking, like, us, like, who's doing, like, the karaoke thing, like, basically singing in the karaoke machine, and I remember just telling her no, and she's like, I, you can sing, like, part of Let It Go, because that was, like, the one song that I, like, always, like, sang a part of, because we never had time to do the full song. So it would just be like a good little section of the song. And then, and so then basically what happened was that like I, my crush overheard me say no. I guess he was like listening or something. I have no clue. I just remember him saying like overhearing us like me saying no, and then we went outside, I, like, we were, like, doing something outside, an outside activity first, and I remember we were getting ready to go out, like, I, she was finishing asking, like, people, oh, and stuff, and, like, letting people, like, get their shoes on, because we were allowed to, like, take our shoes off, and she, and my crush came up to me and was like, I, I heard you're not uh, doing the karaoke. And I'm like, no. And he's like, come on, you're really good at it. Do it for me. I, you're amazing at it. I want to see you do it. Like, I'm, And I'm like, I just kind of went like, no. Like a very shy, quiet, awkward no. Like it wasn't really awkward. It was just very like shy and like. I, you can kind of tell that I was, like, freaked down in my head, because, like, I, a big part of me, like, did not want to do it, and then, like, a small part of me just wanted to give in to my crush, and he was, like, what if I do it with you, and I'm, like, I, okay, I literally just told him, okay, and then, and then he went over to the music class teacher, and I, I good news. And Wally and me are going to do it together. And she was like, great. And, like, and up to that point, I remember, like, we were doing, like, some form of, like, baseball type thing in, like, outside. And basically, I, like, remember just freaking out the whole time in my head. Like, how, like, what just happened. Like, trying to comprehend. 
like, trying to understand, like, what fully happened, and then it kind of clicked, and I went, like, I did it again. I didn't even realize that, like, it kind of clicked that, like, every time there would be a situation like that, I would always just give in. And it would kind of, like, my crush would always win. But, like, I, so, like, because of, like, there was that, there was, like, a moment where, like, I, something kind of similar happened, but, I don't like, but it was just me and my crush and the music class teacher, like, um, there were, like, so many moments. Like, there were just so many moments that, like, happened like that, and because of them, because of my crush, push for what he knew was great. Like, because he never would take no as an answer right away. Like, if I generally were to be like, no, I'm, I'm not doing it, he would be like, okay, just know you're really good at it. So, like, because of all of that, I feel like I'm... I, it's not even that I feel like, it's that I just didn't really know that, like, if none of that ever happened, I wouldn't be doing music videos and writing songs. So, like, my crush gets most of the credit for all of that. And that, like, and now, like, things have changed, because now I'm, like, I'm, like, singing in front of certain people, like, I'm, I'm, now things have just changed to where, like, I don't mind it as much. It's just, like, it's not a thing anymore, but it was a thing at one point. And it had nothing to do with, like, what people said or anything like that. Or, like, oh, like, the fear of, like, doing it in front of people. It's that I never knew what it was. And it never was, like, I didn't think I had a good voice. It, like, had nothing to Okay, let me adjust you like that. But anyway, like, it was just in general, like, I have no clue what it really was. But, yeah, I mean, there's, like, so many members. And I wanted to just kind of, like, talk about them because it's fun to, like, make videos and just talk about good memories. And stuff. And like, so it's really cool to like talk about them. But I remember that, like, one week, like that talent show week, like. The funny thing about it, well, it's not really funny, but the, like, thing, the, like, thing about it, I'm just going to say thing about it, because I don't know if it was, like, funny, if it was, like, cool, like, what it was, was that my mom has, to this day, still not met my crush. Like, the only people who have ever met my crush in my family is, well, first up, me, obviously, but also my dad, and then my sister, and then Bella's sister. No one else has ever met my crush. Now, here's the thing, and Bella has seen a video with my crush in it, but first up, I don't know when this video was taken, and I don't have access to it now because it was on, like, a phone that I used to have and stuff, so, like, like, I don't really know. Oh, exactly, but, like, I, the one time, and how Bella saw the video, 
was that uh, I discovered that, like, oh, I had videos, like, from music class. And we were going to go the next day, like, that level was going to go. And I was really excited because I really wanted her to meet my crush. And, like, because she heard so much about him, like, and she was excited over it. And that kind of leads into another, like, quick story that I'll, like, talk to him. I'll tell you in a second. But, like, I'm, so, the, like, one night, we were, like, going through my phone, like, watching videos from, like, music class. And we clicked on one. And then, and, like, we were watching it. And then I, like, paused and went and pointed to someone and went, like, that's my crush. And she was like, oh, he's, oh, she, she literally just said, oh. Like, she literally, like, said, oh, oh, and then, like, I'm, she's like, I'll have to see if he, he's good enough for you. And I'm like, I, no, she did that because, I'm like, that was the type where, like, she doesn't want, I need to date someone that, and is literally not gonna, like, she wants someone worthy enough to date me and not gonna, and, and steer me down a bad path, or be really rude to me. I mean, that's her thing, like, her thing is that, and if someone can date me, they have to be nice, and they have to not steer me down a bad path, or else they're not good enough. In her book. And personally, I look for the same thing. So, like, that's reasonable. Like, her list is very reasonable. Considering it's two things. Well, three. Because they also can't, like, be rude to really anyone. You know, unless they're, like, standing up for me or something. Then it's, like, like if someone, like, said something really rude. And, and, like, to me, and then, like, they were, like, like, standing up for me. Then it's a different story. But we don't think that's ever going to happen, so we don't know. But the story that leads to it is that the next day we were so excited to go to music class. And then we got there. So, like, literally the next day we went to my reading tutor. And then we got done there. We went and got lunch. And then we went inside a Walmart because we had, like, I, a little bit of time to kill before, like, I, before, like, music class started. And so we literally, like, and so we were at Walmart. And then we were at Walmart. Or, and we, like, each picked out a few things. I ended up getting three. No. Like, three or four things. And I got, like, a, I, a JoJo cup. Oh, wait, yeah. Like, I got a JoJo cup. And then I got some JoJo, like, party napkins. Some JoJo, like, 3D stickers. And then, or, like, not 3D, but, like, they were, like, these really cool, like, stickers that, and he, like, I, like, that they look like they have, like, one design, and then, and if you, like, turn them towards, like, a side or something, it, like, changes. And it's, like, I mean, it's just really cool. I wish I could explain it. And then I also got some, like, JoJo, like, party plates. And then this little, like, I, it's a DIY necklace, JoJo. And it had, like, a squishy, you know, like, charm, and it was really cool. But, yeah, like, it was really cool. So, like, you yeah. so, like, anyways, we got done at Walmart, and, like, that day, like, 
I, I forget what Bella got. I remember her one thing that she got, and I remember her getting, like, oh, wait, I remember. She got, like, I, this charm that had, like, I, a B or something. Like, it had some letter from, like, her name or something. And, then, like, a cool, little, like, fake gem or something. And then she got, like, a, like, cat notebook or something. Or some form of notebook. Uh, but anyway, we got to music class. And basically, we were reading. And all of a sudden, my old speech therapist, who actually, like, worked there. Yes, when I was little, I, like, was born deaf. So I couldn't speak. And then I had an operation and had tubes put in my ears. And then I... I was able to hear and, like, speak, but I had a speech therapist for a really long time. I'm going to make a part two.